Well, he said he was going to do it. Delaware Governor John Carney vetoed a bill today to legalize recreational marijuana in the state. His decision is disappointing many, including those in the Democrats' own party. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is in Tallyville, Delaware, with the governor's explanation. Jasmine? Yuki, good evening. The governor says there are just too many unresolved concerns, but supporters say he is the only Democratic governor to veto a cannabis bill. To legalize marijuana or not to, it's a decision that's creating a lot of buzz in Delaware. For being the first state, I feel like we're always the last at everything. Tuesday, Governor John Carney vetoed a bill that would legalize recreational marijuana up to one ounce for adults. Very surprised, very, very. I mean, it's. I, I don't know what to say. You know, for a Democratic governor to do that is just. Uh, I'm speechless. In a statement, the governor acknowledged the medical benefits but said ultimately, quote, questions about the long term health and economic impacts as well as serious law enforcement concerns remain unresolved. They could probably do a lot for the economy. I think they missed a good opportunity. I have mixed feelings because I don't think we have, we haven't put in place yet the ability to track it. So you have. Someone that's high and is driving, and you know, we don't have a blood test like we do for alcohol. Supporters of the legislation point to a civics poll saying 72% of Delaware voters are in favor of it. People are tired of, you know, of the, of the reefer madness, you know, the, the, you know, the stigma behind it all. Michael Puckish is with Delaware Normal, a group aimed at reforming marijuana laws. He was disappointed to see grassroots efforts fall short, but feels there's still hope. It can be treated like alcohol, and I think the importance is, is educating people on cannabis so they understand, and that's, you know, a start of getting the laws passed. It's unclear if Democratic lawmakers will override the veto, but the bill's sponsor says he is reviewing his options. We're live in Newcastle County. Jasmine Pay, UCBS 30 Eyewitness News.